Casey just he's the guy who just went into the transfer portal um as a six year senior with that extra COVID year. So he has one year to play. Um he's an East Coast guy. Mm. Uh you know when he came out, I think he was in the 2018 class. Um but look at his career stats. He, okay, he, he was slated to be a starter on the defensive line this year. But if you look at his career stats, I think he has about five total tackles in his whole career. Um, like uh, maybe a, a half of a sack, or maybe that was just this year. But he hasn't he hasn't done any. He's been hurt most of his career here at Nebraska, and um, he he missed the whole spring. He was out all spring, and um, you know what? It's hard to know what's going through these guys' uh, minds that uh, he's got one year left, uh, and. Maybe, I don't know, uh, he knows something that uh, maybe somebody's going to be committing here soon that's going to take his spot. Um, so he's looking for somewhere else to go. I thought when it happened last week, I think it happened on last Thursday. Um, it's like, why? I mean, Sean, my boss, Sean Callahan, is like, hey, Casey Rogers is, is entering the transfer portal in an hour. Uh, let's do something on it. I'm like, okay, but I'm like, why? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, you don't know what goes through these guys' minds. And I mean, we kind of speculated, uh, would he go to to Oregon to follow uh, Tony Tuioti, you know, the former defensive line coach who um, Jordan Riley uh, jumped into the transfer portal and went and followed Coach Tuioti to Oregon. So yeah, it, it's it's kind of weird to see a guy like Casey Rogers to be eyeing West Coast schools like that, uh, just given his his background and everything, and and how much time and effort he put in uh, to being a you know a productive football player at Nebraska, which really never never materialized or materialized. Mm-hmm. He's got a he's got a hell of a head head of hair. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. I mean, he's got he's got a professional wrestler's head of hair. So, I, okay, yeah. I, I see it here. And he's got the tattoos to match, and and yeah, so <laughs> yeah, he, he does have some kind of. <laughs> Looks like he's yeah. You're going professional uh, wrestling hair. I would have said more like a '50s pompadour, at least on his uh, <laughs> mugshot here. Oh, I'm a, oh, I almost spit coffee out of my nose right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 